Okay, what is going on guys? In this video, I'm going to show you a solo car merge glitch so that you guys can merge your F1 or Benny's wheels after the latest patch in GTA 5 Online. Before we get into that, if you do want to enter our 15,000 subscriber shark card giveaway, then all you gotta do is drop a like, subscribe to the channel, and then comment the word giveaway, and you'll be entered into that. But yeah, anyway, let's just get straight into the video. Alright, so to go ahead and get started with this merge, you're gonna start outside of your bunker, and then you're gonna wanna head inside. From here, you're just gonna wanna simply exit. Once outside, now to open the interaction menu, go to Securo Seven Resto CEO, then go to your CEO vehicles and call out the buzzard. As now, we're gonna need to head over to our auto shop. Now, if you do decide to use a different mode of transportation to get to the auto shop, just make sure you do register as a CEO, or this glitch will not work. If you guys don't want to have to spend hours grinding out these glitches, be sure to check out the instant delivery modded accounts from MitchCactus.com which is available for Xbox, PlayStation, and PC. That comes with between 50 million to 1 billion dollars, as well as RP level 100 and more. They also offer account boost, meaning that an existing account of yours can have money or RP added to it. These guys have over 4,500 reviews on their official Trustpilot page and are by far the most highly reputable models. There will be a link in the pinned comment and description, and be sure to use code AVADE for 5% off. But yeah, once you arrive, you're just going to want to head inside. Now you're going to want to go and get inside of the car that has the mods on it that you're going to want to transfer. So for example, I'm just going to use this car as it has the F1 wheels and the colour I want. Now if you are using F1 wheels like I am, make sure you do customise them before doing this. But yeah, now just simply get inside of the car. Now open up your phone, head over to contacts and you're going to want to call up Tony. From here, you're going to see the option to request club management and what you're going to do, you're going to want to press this option and as soon as you do, you're going to want to spam right on the d-pad. So right here, I click request club management and spam right on the d-pad and you should get loaded into the auto shop, like inside of here where you can customise your car. And then on this menu, you're just going to wait until we get kicked off. Once we get kicked off of the menu, now you can just hop outside of the vehicle and you should see a 20 minute timer in the bottom right. Now just head over to the service vehicle that you're going to want to merge to. So this is my only service vehicle, so I'm going to go to this one. Now you simply just go on to hit right on the d-pad and you should see the car actually be merged. So this service vehicle now has the F1 wheels and the colour I wanted. However, if you do go and try to purchase the vehicle, you'll notice that you can't as we're actually going to have to wait this 20 minute timer out in the bottom right. So yeah, I'll catch you guys after 20 minutes. Alright, there we go, so 20 minutes have now passed, so now if I do come up to the vehicle, as you can see, I can actually purchase it now. So I'm just going to put it into my arena workshop. And now I'm just going to head over there using the buzzard, and I'm going to show you that the car is actually there. Alright, there we go, we're at the arena, so now if I head inside, head around here, as you can see, there is the fully merged car. I am just going to quickly get in it and change one thing on it just to make sure it is fully saved so I don't lose it when I change session. But yeah, it's as simple as that, that is how you do the solo car merge glitch in GTA 5 Online so I hope you guys did enjoy. Do be sure to drop a like and subscribe but anyway, I'll see you in the next one.